Hello there and welcome back. Matt Corral had a humongous game against Tulane. Uh, he had seven touchdowns in that game by the third quarter. Was an absolute star-studded performance. He was the first quarterback in SEC history to have three passing touchdowns, four rushing touchdowns. The guy was on an absolute tear. And to put things in perspective, people might be thinking, oh, it's Tulane or whatever. The, the Heisman front runner Spencer Rattler in the game against Tulane threw one touchdown and two picks, and they went on to win only 40 to 35 in that game. So Matt Corral is the real deal. I've seen him make a lot of big throws already at the start of this year. He's had a, a couple of 50 plus yard touchdowns as well. Great deep ball. He did have some struggles last year. He had a couple of brutal games, including one against LSU where he did not look good. I acknowledge that fully. But this year, he has come out as a different player. He's a playmaker. He's a guy that can make things happen with his legs. He can make it happen with his arm. He's a smart player, well aware of his surroundings as well. And something that I really like about him, he's a confident player when he's out there, not afraid to take a hit either. That could be good or bad. But this guy shows, shows a lot of confidence, exudes a lot of confidence amongst himself and his teammates, really trust his guys as well. So far this season, 997 yards, nine touchdowns, zero picks, a rating of 186.9, and his completion percentage is probably hovering around that 68% mark as it currently stands. You know, he's not the most dynamic athlete, but he's got one of the most lively arms in this class. He can really sling it. He's got a nice release, good touch. Matt Corral could be a potential Heisman front runner. Um, him and Bryce Young could be kind of one-two all year long. Ole Miss is definitely making a statement, especially in that Tulane game. So we could be seeing a potential Heisman winner right here. Desmond Ritter was, was thought to be that true Heisman front runner as well, kind of where Corral is currently, but he just has not stepped up big enough. Sam Howell was another guy that people thought was for sure going to win it or could be close in that conversation. And then obviously there's Spencer Rattler, who people had a, a really high expectations for heading into this season. He hasn't lived up to it quite yet. Uh, he's got a 7-2 to two touchdown to interception ratio. Um, Spencer Rattler, he's up and down during games, which is just kind of confusing as a whole uh, for him. I don't really know how to read him. I think that he could be a, a pretty good NFL player, but he's really got to clean up some of the mechanical issues, um, some, some of the mental things he has to clean up as well. But back to Corral, this is a guy that people were not really anticipating on being a, a potential top 10 pick, especially with how he played last season. That's the key here. Uh, definitely rubbed people the wrong way in terms of some of his performances last year. I think he even had a six interception game, might have been against Arkansas. Uh, of last season, but he has really turned it around. He's played turnover and mistake-free football. So there's a lot to like about the progression that we've seen so far from him in the games that he's played in, especially having seven touchdowns in three quarters. This offense was absolutely firing on all cylinders. It's crazy that he ended up with four rushing too. That's really the most impressive part to me. Did a really great job in terms of recognition on read options. Uh, making that right decision to tuck and run uh, definitely pay dividends in this game. So other guys that could be in that, that Heisman watch, Malik Willis is another one from Liberty. Dynamic runner, uh, improving as a passer as well, but obviously the running part's what really can separate him from some of these other guys. But Matt Corral's got a couple of, couple of nice rushing touchdowns to his own name as well. He's going to put up the numbers this year, and he very well could be a top five pick. He could be QB one. I think that's a little bold to say in so early in this season, but I think there's a real, real possibility that by season's end, he could be the first quarterback taken. I know that is an extremely hot take, but some of these other guys like Spencer Rattlers and Sam Howell have not grasped that yet. They haven't truly taken the reins of being that QB one. And it's kind of been open at this point. Matt Corral has made tremendous strides in his game He's looked the best of all the quarterbacks thus far that are in contention of being potentially QB1 in this upcoming draft. That's why I really like him. He's made a lot of prog he's made a lot of progress from last year. Definitely made some key mistakes that, you know, really people weren't believing in him anymore. But now 
He has completely flipped that around. He's thrown to all levels of the field consistently, especially deep. That's the part that's really key in all of this. His ability to throw deep, take the top off the defense, uh, phenomenal, phenomenal player. I'm excited to watch him moving forward. He's got some big-time playmakers that, that could also help him out as well, which will definitely help his case. Old Miss is a team that you really don't want to mess with this year. I, I think at the end of the, at the end of this season, uh, they very well could be ranked inside that top 10 just with how dynamic the roster is, especially with Matt Corral leading the way for this Old Miss football team. The Rebels are di- definitely not a team that you want to mess with come later on in the season. Hopefully Matt Corral can keep up this pace of play because if he does, he is in route to being the number one quarterback selected in next year's draft. There's a couple of teams in the NFL that really, really could use his services, but it, it's very possible that he isn't taken in that you know top tier quarterback group. I would be interested to see if he does you know slide a little bit. Washington could be a team to watch for a perfect match for this guy. There's a lot to love about what we've seen so far. I'm excited to see him moving forward. The SEC is very, very competitive like it is every single season. And for him to have that absurd stat of being the only quarterback ever to have three passing touchdowns, four rushing touchdowns in a single game, and he did it in three quarters, is quite impressive. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Also, leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we will see you guys in our next Utility Sports video.